Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this illuminated front grille badge. They come in a variety of car makes such as Toyota, Ford, BMW, Audi, Honda, Mercedes, just to name a few. And they have a universal fitment. I prefer just this generic style. Before we proceed, don't forget to smash that like button. So the plan is to place the grill light here and run the wires to the headlight, the back of the headlight and tap into the parking lights or the DRLs. All right, so before I get started, looks like the wire is too short. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, extend it. So here it is, I extended it about a foot, nice and soldered and I went ahead and used the shrink tube. First thing you want to do is uh, remove this cover. Next, you want to remove these three screws here. There's three screws to gain access to the headlight. That's where we're gonna tap into the parking lights or the DRLs. Once you got the three screws out, you wanna open the fender wall and you're gonna tap in to that harness. That's where your light bulb is. Don't mind that yellow wire. That yellow wire is for my sequential turn signal. If you're interested in that sequential turn signal, I'll go ahead and leave a description right up above. All right, so now that I got the harness off, I went ahead and connected the power, the red, to the DRLs, which is this pin right here. So I just pushed it in from the back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it with electrical tape so that way water doesn't get into it so next we want to remove this this cold air inbox there's four tabs that you want to remove that's all i need to remove just to gain access to the back of the grill so i'm actually going to go ahead and remove the intake box as well The reason why I did that is so I can ground everything to this bolt right here. There it is. Now that I have that grounded, that's this wire right here. The other two are for the sequential turn signal. Now I'm going to go ahead and feed the grill light through here to the back of the grill and come out right over here. Now that I got the light through, we're gonna go ahead and put on the mounting brackets. Just go ahead and feed it through. And this here is your locking washer. All right. Just like that. And then we're gonna push it through and then turn it to lock it into place. There it is, mounted into place. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the protective sticker. And just like that. So I did get a headlight problem error code on the instrument panel. To clear that, all you have to do is uh, remove the battery one of the terminals of the battery, wait about five minutes and then uh, put it back in. All right, looks like we're all done. Now you're gonna put the air box back. Put the engine bay cover back and screw the fender well back on. There it is, all complete. I do like that simple touch. 
here's a sample of the Honda one just in case you guys wanted a badge they do light up I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a night shot when the Sun goes down all right here it is with the Sun down If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you lots more content just like this. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.